Welcome back, everybody, to the No Such Thing as a Fish Comic Relief Marathon. We are now entering, uh, what is it, fact number nine. We're, we're making good progress here. Uh, we've had some amazing facts said so far. We've had some amazing conversations, and we've had some fantastic donations. Just a reminder, if you're tuning in now, that's what this is all about. This is an aid of comic relief. The charity sector has really suffered this year as a result of the pandemic. We're trying to do our best to raise as much money for them so that comic relief can continue to do all the extraordinary work that they've done we're on forty nine thousand four hundred and ninety pounds right now it's Yay. it's fantastic thank you so much but we want more we want way more so keep keep giving now let's bring on our next guest we're really excited to have her on the show she's a brilliant actor comedian presenter author she does everything she does everything brilliantly please welcome it's the wonderful Sue Perkins. Hey, Ooh, hey. Yes. Hey. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. I want to live in your world. That was the nicest introduction I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Not deserved, I would say, but I loved it. Completely it deserved. <laughs> uh, um, well, so here we go. Welcome to No Such Thing as a Fish. We're going to crack into fact number nine, and that is Sue Perkins. Okay. Happy days, it's 2008, if you can cast your mind back, and Barack Obama has been elected President of the United States of America. And in Kenya, suddenly people start naming their children Barack. But when he visits Kenya in 2015, one woman named her son Air Force One. <laughs> wow. You've got to, Barack, everyone's called Barack now, you know? Mm -hmm. You've got to, You've got to think outside of the box. Lovely. Yeah. Right? I Air wonder Force if it's one. because when the plane touched down, she thought, well, it must be a personalised plane. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think of, but it's a great name. I mean, Air Force One is a fabulous name. It's a Air good Force job one. that he didn't come by car, otherwise he would have just got a number plate for a name like <laughs> G11. <laughs> or the Beast, as, as the it's called. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe, she, maybe yeah. like with Brooklyn and Be Beckham, you know, maybe she conceived the baby on Air Force One and thought, <laughs> name, it after, name it after the place of conception. That's a thing, isn't it? Yes, it, it is, yes. That is a thing. But you I think, think security is quite tight on Air Force One, man. I don't think they just have a conception cabin. No, I don't think people just get on board, give birth, and then hop off it. Mm. Like a sort of very high-speed maternity unit. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of being named after sort of um, modes of transport. I like mm. that. Mm. Yeah. You know, you'd get lots, you of trabance, lots of trabants in old, in old Russia. You used yeah. to get, actually in Russia, you used to get people called Combine Harvester. And nuclear power stations, oh, yeah. stuff oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, was, tractor. Yeah. Yeah. Was... In, in Soviet times, like it was really, uh, it was thought to be a thing for the country if you would name your child after the great progress of the Soviet nation. So yeah. there'd be sort, of, I'd be sort of five-year plan Perkins if I was. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of but like you, that, it's um, it's a gendered language, so you have to make sure you get the right one. You can't call your son power station. Because that's no. a girl's name. <laughs> Heaven for <forfend. laughs> <laughs> in Russia. Uh, yeah. Um, I spent a few years. Um, sorry, a few years ago, I spent some time in Kosovo, and when I was in Kosovo, I was told that there were a few people there called Tonibler, and Tonibler mm. was a oh. squished-up version of Tony Blair as a name, which was given to children there because of his role in what happened there between um, uh, the years, I can't remember what years it was now, apologies. Late 90s. Late 90s. Late 90s. Yeah. 7, 98. Yeah, and everywhere you went in Kosovo, there were, where there was a building, the building would be sort of draping a huge picture of Bill Clinton and there would be Bill Clinton's wow. burger shop and, and it was such a big deal there. So yeah, even to the point of kids were being called Tonneblur. That's where Clinton's cards came from, I think. <laughs> yeah. The origin story of that, that great British yeah. world brand. <laughs> the greatest thing he gave to the world. I think Clinton's quite popular in, uh, in places like Kenya as well as a name after him. And yes. uh, Churchill, weirdly, a lot of people name their babies after Churchill. Mm. I think it's particularly in, well, it's in, in lots of different groups, but Luo's in Kenya tend to adopt famous people's names for their kids. Hmm. I believe, which is quite fun. Pick your favourite celebrity. But do you mean their full name or like it's not, I've named her Kate after Kate, no. would it be Kate Moss? You know? It would often be Kate, like the full thing, I think, yeah. the Kate Moss hmm. or the surname. You know, hmm. depends what you fancy. I, I like the tradition of, there's a really good one in um, Isizulu, which is um, we, we Have Waited, which is a Lindy way. Um, and I really, it's, it's sort of, 
it's on one one hand it seems really really nice because it's like oh finally a girl's arrived mm. but it's also there's a sort of passive aggressive impatience there <laughs> the name. yeah we you might as well we... call a child you took your bloody time didn't you <laughs> <laughs> Finally, yeah. Name. Finally, would be a, um, <laughs> like that. And there's lots yeah. of sort of um, obviously there's precious and there's godly and but there's also kids called sadness, misery, penury, mm. awfulness. These names wow. and they're sort of counterintuitive. So the idea is if you you name your child something terrible, that 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 might not befall them. Mm. Ah. Okay. Um, so born on a rubbish heap, which the, 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 I think is Ajuji is the translation, means that, that, that it's often given to children who, uh, when, they're, when they're, the children before have died, is that the idea is you give your child a terrible name and then the spirits will leave it alone because they think, mm, that's suffered enough. Born on a rubbish heap. So, oh, yeah. Wow. It's Can they then change their name when they turn 18, if all goes well, and they don't want to still be called born on a rubbish heap for the rest of their yes. life. <laughs> yeah, they can but, say, now living in a bungalow. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just an address. The name is also the address. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't risk changing your name because you'd think, well, I've got, the only reason I've escaped calamity so far is because I'm called, you know. I would update it. I would that. update it to a more recent bit of um, bad news. You know, underperformed expectations at GCSE level. Oh, will be my next <laughs> version of the name. Yeah. You know. But you're asking to end up on a rubbish heap, aren't you, really? <laughs> and people are just going to walk past and go, weren't you born on a rubbish heap? Yeah, yeah I, I was. <laughs> oh, with GCSEs like these, I'm staying there. Um, what other you're trying to trick higher power, though, by, by giving your child a really depressing name? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's. It, I, mean, I was anxious enough being called Susan at the sort of roll call at school. Why yeah, are you? you know, Why? But... Oh, it's so bland, my name. It's the most, it's the, it's the name a librarian would turn her nose up at. It's what, so... Superkins? Su yeah, but that's like, yeah, but nobody called me Superkins at school. It's, it's always, uh, you know. When, when, did, when was the first time you were called Superkins? Because that must have been a light bulb moment. That must have been I... an exciting day. Is it when you what heard about the whole Tony Blur thing? I can't remember that day, actually. That was Paul Merton called me that first on Just a Minute. Uh, in uh, around about 2002 or three or something like that. Oh, okay. that's good to know, because we were discussing nicknames earlier, actually, with Ian Hislop, funnily enough, and was saying how sad it is when people give themselves nicknames. So... Good to um, know you're not. Do they no. do that? Do yeah, but Ian that? would like to be, would like to be known as Ian his Ian his yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, he has uh, asked. He was given that name by one of our viewers on today's show, who was called uh, Vulcan Hawkman. I think his name was. Um, <laughs> Vulcan, you're still there. <laughs> not still there. No. Um, no, Alfred, yeah. so a lot of African names are so much more exciting than yeah. ours. They have, so so Southern Africa and particularly South Africa is good for them. They have sort of love more, tell more, try more, learn more, um, which some, actually that is kind of, that's now I'm nice. looking back at that, that's not that nice. <laughs> really? Just, try it's more. It's just because we tell me good to do better, yeah. Is that siblings, Anna? Is that like harder, better, faster, stronger? Is the... <laughs> I don't think they were, no, but it should have been. Yeah. Um, and then there was someone, there was an interview with a guy in Zimbabwe who's called Hatred. And <laughs> he said wow. he's called that because That's his That's parents, uh, it's a good name, uh, people wouldn't mess with you. He's no. called that because his parents did quite well, whereas his dad's brothers didn't do as well. So we're really, really jealous of his parents. So his parents, as an inside joke, called all their kids sort of names for the emotions that they felt that this jealous family had for wow. them. <laughs> so like hatred, confess, abide, ah. resent. Uh, but a bit bit rough on the kids to carry that. I was going to say, that, that's a joke that, 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 that is only exclusively aimed towards their own children. It's an own guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many hatreds would you have in a class? <laughs> is yeah. hatred, for example, the equivalent of Claire? <laughs> <laughs> Is that hatred with the eye or without the eye? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that thing about Dennis Rodman, the basketball player? His dad had 29 children by 16 different partners, and his name is Philander. Philander Rodman. <laughs> no. Yeah, he, he passed away last year, sadly. But, um, but yeah, he, he used to run a burger shop in, I think it was the Philippines, called Rodman's Rainbow Obama Burger Restaurant. That's and. Cool. Yeah, they were quite estranged as a uh, father and son, but yeah, 
I love the thing. Just my spe- favorite is still Your Majesty, which is Jermaine Jackson's <laughs> yeah. uh, son. Your Majesty, Your really, Majesty. for me. Is- didn't know that. that well, do, you, is strong work. do you remember when Jermaine Jackson changed his name from Jermaine Jackson to Jermaine Jackson? Mm. So he no. he took the he took the O out of Jackson at the end and he put a U in. So it's son, mm. the son versus son. The ch- yeah, Jermaine Jackson. And I think he's back to Jermaine Jackson now. So don't oh, mistaken oh that God. when you talk to him next. It's Jermaine Jackson, <laughs> not Jermaine Jackson. That's actually like, do you remember... Justin Trudeau's wife dropped or added, she dropped the hyphen from her name. She's she, called, she's called um, Gregoire Trudeau, oh, or Sophie Gregoire, I think. Yeah. And then yeah. a few years ago, the hyphen just disappeared. And now it's like, why <laughs> would you do that? That's not a deep state conspiracy that you're trying to whip up here, is it, <laughs> Where's that hyphen gone, Andy? Hmm? Yeah. Did the Russians <laughs> take it? I don't know. <laughs> They're, moving. They're holding it hostage. <laughs> so. Presumably that was to make herself look a little bit more like the common man. Yeah, I guess Perhaps so. Perhaps the hyphen was, was a, do you know what I mean? It felt a little highfalutin. But I don't, yeah. I think it was her birth name, not her surname. So, which isn't, I don't think you go for the posh. Is a double barreled first name posh? I think a hyphen oh. anywhere. I think a hyphen or a double barrel anywhere is posh. I think, I think a I double barrel first name is double posh, isn't it? Is it? Must it? Be. Oh, I it think must so. Be. Going by anything more than anything more than two names by yeah. what you're going by, you know, anyone who has actually any, you in know, any capacity. Anything less a, anything less than two names. But yeah, definitely Hunter Murray is a yeah. Bullshit. I've actually taken six hyphens out of my name just to throw people off the <laughs> <laughs> how outrageously posh I am. <laughs> you had so many hyphens, it was they mostly keep... equal signs by the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one I like as well that, that that's um that there's an Ethi- there's an Ethiopian name which is Mizrak, which refers to where your father is when you're born and it's specifically if your father is in japan when you're born what oh how is that a, is that, that a what? is that a thing was there a lot of cultural exchange between the two this is something i perhaps should have checked on i don't know but, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> significant enough yeah that. and it means east but it's particular to oh. your dad being or being away in japan maybe that you're right maybe there's a lot of uh, trade between ethiopia and japan and it's a commonplace thing that dad, or maybe it's a euphemism, dad's in Japan. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Mm. Might be euphemistic. He'll be back from Japan again. soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, there was one person, I think this was again in Zimbabwe, who, just speaking of that, spoke to someone who was, uh, he was fighting in the Congo and his wife while he was away. So he, you know, he just left. His wife had a baby. Then he got back. And he looked at the baby and thought, I don't think that's mine. Or thought, mm, the dates don't quite match up. Mm. Didn't say anything, but the child was called Never Trust a Woman. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is it a male child or a female child? I don't actually know. Does, she could have like... got away with it. What was she thinking of? Yeah. Well, yeah. Why did she name her child that? <laughs> oh, no. Why are shagging somebody else? Is Sorry. the name of your child? <laughs> I, I should be clear, I don't think it was the mother's choice. I think it was very much the father who imposed the oh, name. Okay. I did think that was weird, that the mother yeah. would have just gone, Yeah, I ha- I'm going to have to do this, but it might be a bit of a giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> but I just love the name so yeah. much. <laughs> There's a thing that happens in China where, as we were talking before about giving names that sort of relate to the person you want to be, taking on English names in China, uh, there was a video I watched years and years ago on YouTube of a girl going around asking, what is your Chinese name and then what is your English name? And it would be people saying, um, dollars. My name is Dollars. And it's because I want dollars. Or my name, one lady was called Frog. I can't remember why she decided to call it, but I think it was connected to interest in the animal. But on the flip side, um, I, I was, sorry, in China, I mean, certain animals have certain qualities to them mm. that are, you know, part of their zodiac and so on. But um, in Hong Kong, when I was growing up, I was given my Chinese name at school. And my Chinese name was a sort of, it was, so Schreiber, because your surname would come first, Schreiber Dan. So it was Xie Bo, Schreiber, Xie Bo, Dan. That was my name. And that sounded like it was going to be fine, but the words, the symbols they gave me meant that I was going around with the name, thank you, Uncle Egg. <laughs> That's that, and and I would lose Dan, so I'd be Xie Bo, 
but Bor was just uncle. So I was walking around as a five, six year old being called uncle by everyone. <laughs> and the Chinese locals found that hilarious. Like, what the hell is this kid? Hi, I'm uncle. That is, that is funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but no one, again, I, I didn't really know that until I, I got, you know, to Australia. So like post my Hong Kong time, but it's a very similar thing. You can create Chinese names via sort of the phonetic sounding um, pairing of it. So ship or Schreiber. Mm. Yeah, I know somebody who went out with a um, a Chinese girl who said that her Chinese name meant little fish, but her English name was Angela. And I couldn't work that out at all, but it didn't matter. She was Angela. But I don't know whether she'd chosen that name. Um, it felt like a name that was, that, 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 because it's quite a proper name, isn't it? Like it's an quite Angela? An old fashion name. I thought she might have... <laughs> yes, <laughs> Angela. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it could be that, and do you? I don't think, yeah. I, mean, I, did, I didn't think I'd stop making sense this early in the stream, to be honest. <laughs> we, could, we could see what happened in your brain. <laughs> I am. I was looking to see if any kids have been named after Donald Trump, because oh, yeah. obviously mm. was named after Obama. And uh, the Washington Post did an article about the popularity of the name Trump amongst Kurds in Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, and they spoke to a guy who'd named his newborn son Trump Hassan Jamil. And he said that Donald Trump is a confident and successful businessman, and I want my son to have the same confidence in Wait life. till he sees his tax returns. <laughs> 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 That's going to, yeah, that, that, yeah, that Trump's going to be renamed Pronto, I suspect. Um, <laughs> Yeah. James, yes, I was it's amazing, the, isn't it? It shows you what the that actually just being a leader and just arriving in a country mm -hmm. is, is sort of proof uh, enough of success to to to, to, to warrant you know, naming a child. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there was a thing. This was an article in the Northampton Chronicle in 2017, and I'm just going to quote from it directly. All right. Of course, it's a great paper. Well, uh, I was yeah. Say, straight well, from the Norfolk horse's mouth, please. <laughs> <laughs> More than half of parents are now considering using the name Corbyn for their next child following the Labour leader's post-general election popularity surge. Now, more than half considering the name Corbyn is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that to me says that if you've got two people in a relationship, then it's pretty much every relationship is considering it. Yeah. Have they, Very true. Was their poll confined to the Corbyn household? I don't, I don't know whether it was family. Whether I don't know how the question was phrased. Was it? Have you definitely had a discussion where you've ruled out the name Corbyn? No. Okay. Then you're considering it. But, <laughs> what year yeah. was it, Andy? 2017. I've, do you remember? Very well, successful. That's, well, that's when I had my son. Oh, yeah. Corbyn. <laughs> uh, no, Boris. Boris Reimer, But uh, <laughs> I don't remember considering Corbyn. Actually, Corbyn's Maybe. a great first name. Yeah. Mm. It is cool. Yeah, it that's cool. cool. It's got it. connotations now, yes. though. I'll definitely consider it. So if we're polling us, so we've got 50-50 so far, I'm probably a no for Corbyn, I think. What about you, James? No, I'm married to a Russian, so ours will be called Power Station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a girl. <laughs> I do think Tractor is a cool name as well, by the way, when you said that earlier, Anna. Yeah. I was like, yeah, Tractor Schreiber. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be up for that for my next kid. That's I don't a know, muscular Dan. name, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. I'd have a backup. You know, or give them give them a nice middle name. I'm not going to call him backup Schreiber. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? There was also a Ninel uh, was quite popular, and a Mel Mark Marks Engel Lenin and Ninel was Lenin backwards was popular in the USSR as well. Mm. People got very creative with their political names. You know a Mel, don't you, Sue? I wonder if she was named after Marks Engels and Lenin. <laughs> well, her original name's Combine Harvester. <laughs> But she she changed it, yes, and she as it is, it does stand for Mark's angle on Yeah, it's and, and now she's rumbled, and it serves her right for once again being another divisive personality in the media trying to force yeah. a left wing agenda. But, um, yeah, I I I I sort of my favourite sort of name, I suppose, is a more of a corporate one, which is when PowerGen. Um, went to Italy and then unveiled their branding and realised they'd called themselves Power Genitalia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which I never really got over because there were so many moments in, in the trajectory of that branding where somebody could have noticed. Uh, and nobody noticed. And yeah. 
those sorts of things really really constantly make me laugh because the the the, the, the blame is spread over so many people over so many departments yeah. yeah it's when the penny drops and everyone looks at everyone else and goes <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. I think there was one immature 17 year old intern who knew from the start and mm. just watched them shoot themselves in the foot, chuckling away. Surely. Yeah. Do you think, um, in terms of like we're talking about powerful people arriving on Air Force One and being having the, the children being named after them, do you think the same thing will extend to? I mean, obviously, there might be some Bidens, uh, obviously, now being, being named, but do you think it extends to powerful women? Are there any. Uh, will we get a mm. Kamala Harris, and or we get, or mm. we get a, uh, will we get? Did, were there Thatchers? You know, were, was was Thatcher? For example, let's ask the Norfolk yeah. Chronicle. Were, were, <laughs> you know, in sort of 1980 something, were were people considering Maggie as a as a name? Or I'm glad know. you asked, Sue. I'm very glad you asked because <laughs> the same article from <laughs> the Chronicle in 2017 <laughs> said that four in ten uh, parents claim that May is a definite option for Theresa May, but only 4% intend to call their newborn Theresa. So may that kind of oh, is a bit yeah. of contradictory evidence. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I just think there might be a few holes in this poll. <laughs> do you, do you have their methodology poly. to hand? I really yeah. don't. I will, I, look, I'll take a minute and just write to the editors, uh, the 2017 editor of the Northampton Chronicle. <laughs> oh, it's Northampton. I keep saying Norfolk. I'm an absolute mm. nut. Um, but that changes everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I, I wonder if it's, if it's just sort of... Uh, if it's just powerful men or whether there's a triple, you know, whether you, I'd love that for, for you know, kids to be called Kamala and yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think, I think there is an effect, like Dan mentioned the Kosovo thing earlier. And I think that there was a, a little uptick in girls called Madeline because uh, Madeline Albright was the oh, US Secretary, the Secretary of State oh, at the right. time. So oh. yeah, if you don't want to call your little baby boy, a uh, little baby girl rather, Clinton, then, um, then oh. Madeline is obviously a much nicer name. Speaking of powerful, in 2018, there were 13 babies in America called Thanos. Oh. So much powerful than Thanos. <laughs> yeah, well, all of them need to be under surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> were those babies named by parents who'd only just started watching the films and maybe hadn't realised that what happens at the end? Yes. Well, just how he turns out. I mean, yeah. is he a baby? Because mm. oh, Anna. Is this an Anna? I actually is he Game it's of Thrones? It's an Anna Karenina. Yeah, he's a character <laughs> in Anna Karenina. <laughs> he's, not, he's not Game of Thrones. Is he not he's Game Marvel of Thrones? No. He's in the Marvel universe, and he wants to get rid of half the people in the universe by clicking his fingers. Yeah. Can I say this is actually not, now going to expose me because I had a fact in a podcast recently where Thanos was the hilarious punchline because it's a Marvel universe name. <laughs> But I didn't get that joke at the time until it was explained to me in the article, and I've forgotten it since. So it's now going to be obvious that I haven't made that original connection. It was that some people got arrested in South America somewhere, was it, or Mexico? Yes, it was. They they have. I think it was in Brazil, and they have these um, trains uh, or these buses that go around the streets, and they're just entertainment buses, and they have people whose job it is to dress up as fictional characters on mm. them. And there was one that had, and then insert names of superheroes in the Marvel universe, like Superman, Batman, uh, Spider Man. You haven't. Oh well, you've named one now. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> We've just lost five thousand pounds. <laughs> People have actually asked for refunds. Anyway, a fight broke out between two of these Marvel characters, and they were arrested and taken to a cell. And the arresting officer was this woman who was called Thanos. And Beautiful. who immediately culled half of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I get that. <laughs> yes, I mean, maybe the, the, the babies were named uh, between, you know, between movies, you know, the penultimate movie where, mm. you know, Thanos is in the Ascendant. It looks like a good idea. And then... Yeah. Um, mm. Like the girls who were named after... Um, uh, the character in Game of Thrones. Yeah, don't, don't give that clip. away because that, that you'll you'll be giving a spoiler properly there. Oh won't my you? god, Dan! People what? have had two years to watch the finale of the. And I've to... been busy, so <laughs> I'm not going to it yet. People I'm, have... I'm trying to work out which cat. Hang on, so they. She's. Oh, let's just say a little clue. She's the mother of dragons. Oh um, Jesus! Okay. <laughs> yes, sorry, I understand. Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Cheers, yes, mate. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah, you mean Denise. I do. You do mean Denise. Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Yeah. I thought we were not allowed to say that name because you think people will, yeah, I don't want donations to fall. I want them to rise gloriously. So let's not spoil. But yeah, that didn't work out. So yes, didn't No, but lots of so babies well. named Khaleesi and, and Daenerys and things like that. And, oh. and they've not regretted it because she remained good and great. So that's good to know. <laughs> Apart from when she goes absolutely batshit mental and basically tort torches an entire town. But that's not wow. that's not the end of it, everyone. Wow. So okay, cool. It. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, I am another... completely lost. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all my kids. All my kids are going to be named after Yes Minister characters. Uh, that's all I know. <laughs> and by the way, there are no women in Yes Minister, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to have boys. Um, it's true. I hadn't thought about. Of course, there are. It's an entirely female-less universe, isn't it's it? It's a woman-free zone. Yeah. There's one woman does appear for one episode in series two. I think it's a very exciting but moment. Yes Minister. Yes, but yeah. she appears as the w token woman, and they talk about how she's a woman. So she. It's great, but it is a really good show, so I don't want to talk yeah. about it. It's almost like a sci-fi universe where the women have been wiped out by this mysterious plague and the, all the men are just trying to get on with procedural business to avoid <laughs> confronting the full horror of what's happened to their no world. No one ever mentions it. No. <laughs> oh no one God. ever mentions it. Maybe. When, when that one woman came in in the second series, that must have been a moment. But they still they kept the demureness. And, wow. they, could, they couldn't accept it. It's, Do you know what? Yeah. I think Last of the Summer Wine might almost might also be set in this universe because no, you've, no, got, no, Nora Nora Batty. you've got Nora Batty. Yeah, Nora Batty. Batty's the last woman left who's going to have to restart the species. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, to be fair, it's it, the, the the only thing she, she well she's a woman incapable of pulling her stockings up, so she doesn't bode well for the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Basic motor function seems to have escaped her, so. Who knows? Yeah. Oh God, we've already spiralled into insane theories about nineteen eighties <laughs> your shows. Let's let's talk about names, guys. Do you know what Tiffany Trump's named after? Speaking of Donald Trump. Okay. Shop. The, the, the yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Just oh, named okay. after the bloody jewelry shop and Halle Berry as well. Named after a department Berries. store. Oh, okay. What? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just really? a department store near a parent's house. Halle yeah. Berry. Bergdorf Goodman. Oh. Um, Clinton, presumably. So, do they just name them after sort of rich, sort of bedazzling places? I suppose so. Yeah. Is yeah. there a sax? Is there a sax? Someone yes. has been named after Sax Fifth Avenue or something. Sax. What? Sax? Andrew Sax, who played yeah. Manuel, yes. was named after Goldman yes. Sachs. And the saxophone uh, also was named. Yeah. After it. it was. Uh, <laughs> um, Kobe was named after the beef. What was? Kobe Bryant, the basketball oh. player. Mm. Really. Yeah, uh, his yeah. parents were in a restaurant. They saw Kobe on the menu and thought, that sounds like a good name for a kid. Really? They're right as well. Oh, it is. It's a strong right. name, Kobe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it worked. It is a strong name. Yeah. Um, the people who started strong names were the Puritans, right? Everyone acts like it's a newfangled thing, giving your kids weird names. 16th century England, that's where we invented cool names. And you know when they decided that all the standard English names uh, had associations of badness? So you should have names that reminded you of your sinfulness. And so people in England in the uh, 15th and 1600s were called things like job raked out of the ashes. Um, if Jesus Christ had not died for thee, thou hadst been damned. Uh, Smith. First name. <laughs> <laughs> Humiliation scratcher. <laughs> what is that? Why did it never come across this in Who Do You Think You Are? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always the go back and in a Colin, your great great grandfather, and James, great great grandfather. No one, no one ever says, you know, we, we rate your job out the ashes or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was obviously a small subset of sort of puritanical Britain where these names are being dished out. Yeah. 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 Um, Sue, we're very sadly going to have to wrap up with you. Um, it's been a joy. It has been so fun. Thank you so yeah. much for, for coming on. We've raised some nice money while you've been here. We are now on £52,984. Thank you, everyone. Thank yeah, thank you, you so much. You. And, um, yeah, so we'll take a quick break. Sue, so, once again, thank you so much uh, for doing this. And best of luck, guys, and, and um, thanks for donating everyone at home. Perfect. And we'll be back, everyone, in a couple of minutes for fact number 10 with the Guilty Feminist podcast. Way! Hey, 
Hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed watching that video from our 20 hour long No Such Thing as a Fish comic relief marathon. There are plenty more videos to watch, but before you watch them, we're going to ask you to donate to the cause that we did this for. Go to the link below and you will be sent to comicrelief.com slash fish where you can donate and help change lives. Donate now.